All right, let's take a look at something uh, that's going to be very helpful as we uh, study science. There's a new quest called Think Like a Scientist. What is true? And it says, let's go through some uh, learning activities, and in the end, you'll be asked some questions. So there's a link here, and the task is, once you're done with this activity, to share what you learned right here, uh, and that's in the discussion. I'm turning on discussion for a lot of our quest assignments because since we're not in the classroom together, this is a great way for us to stay connected and to communicate with each other. And then the assignment uh, is another place where you can answer the questions, but let's do it in the discussion so we can read each other's responses. So click on scientific thinking and uh, do it with me or just watch this video. So we're going to start with um, a, a creature that I don't know if many of you have heard of. The Pacific Northwest Tree Octopus. There's a website where you can learn all about it. Now maybe some of you have seen this website. This tells you all about uh, the endangered Pacific Northwest Tree Octopus. And if you start reading, the Pacific Northwest tree octopus, Octopus paxarbolus, uh, can be found in the temperate rainforests of the Olympic Peninsula on the west coast of North America. So reading through this website tells you about their habitat, uh, tells you a little bit about the creature, and right here it shows where you can find uh, this elusive tree octopus. So you can see here's the Hood Canal, and map of ex estimated tree octopus maximum range, including spawning waters. So they start in the water, and then they uh, migrate to the forests along the Hood Canal. It tells you here why it's endangered, uh, and it has great information. If you keep scrolling down, you'll find out how to become a tree octopus activist, so you can uh, save them from extinction since they are endangered. Now you've got links here at the top, uh, uh, how you can help, frequently asked questions, uh, and there's a good video here on whether the plural of octopus is octopi or octopuses. Um, and it's got how you say octopus in different languages, which is pretty cool if you can read those. Um, there are sightings, media, and activities. So this website is just full of rich activities um, and, and great things to learn. So there's a tree octopus caught uh, on, on photos, so they had to piece them together, uh, just like we saw the Mount St. Helens eruption. They put the photos together to make an animated. Here you can see a falcons grabbing them and, and eating them. And then this one here likes to collect money from people. Um, but as you're looking at these pictures, and maybe even before these pictures, you were probably like, um, Mr. G, are you okay? Why are you having us read a website about a tree octopus? Uh, look at this picture. That's a toy. Um, this doesn't look very real. So if you're thinking, this website can't be real, guess what? You're right! If you type Pacific Northwest Tree Octopus, um, you get a link right back to the site we were just at. This is the main site to learn about the tree octopus. Um, and all these are... Uh, links to that website until you get to this Snopes one. Snopes.com helps you check if something is real or not. So is the Pacific Northwest tree octopus endangered? Um, it's false. This site tells you this is a fake website. Here's another thing you can do. After Pacific Northwest tree octopus, type in hoax. And you'll find out on Wikipedia, yes, Wikipedia, who people say has false information. If it does, I've never run across any. 
Uh, the Pacific Northwest Tree Octopus is an internet hoax created in 1999 by Lyle Zapato. He created this website to prove, don't trust everything you read. It could be fake. Ha! So there's lesson number one. Double check your resources just in case it's a hoax. Hoaxes exist. Sometimes people do it just as a joke, but it gets spread through social media and people believe it. Don't fall for that.